Here I'm going to show you how to install the 3D items mod for Minecraft. So if there's going to be two files you'll need, you'll need Minecraft Forge and the 3D items mod. So you'll find those on their form page. Link will be in the description for you. So go to their 3D items mod form page. You want to scroll on down past the videos here to their download section. All right. So make sure you download um, the mod in your Minecraft version. As of right now, it's 1.6.2. So I'm going to go ahead to 1.6.2 and click download. All right. This will take you on over to AdFly and you'll have to wait five seconds. If you get like a cookies not enabled wording here, just refresh the page and then it should go away. And just hit skip ads, it'll take us on over to Mediafire. You click download right there and close out the pop-up ad there. All right, there you go, it's downloading the mod for us. All right, after we have the 3D items mod downloaded, the next thing we'll need is Minecraft Forge. So you want to go to select Minecraft version and choose your Minecraft version that you're currently in. Then go to the recommended build and click the installer. All right, so again, recommended build for your Minecraft version and click installer. This takes us on over to AdFly once again, and we just hit skip ad after the countdown is done. And you click skip ad, and it may say that this file may harm your computer. That's because it's a .jar. Don't worry, this is not a virus. You can go ahead and click keep. All right, so then after you have everything downloaded, what you're going to want to do is go to Minecraft Forge installer now. Right click, go to open with, and choose Java TM Platform SE Binary. If you don't have an option here, go to choose default program and search for it in other programs. If you still can't find it, I'll have a video out soon explaining how to actually find Java TM Platform SE Binary if you're not able to find it in default programs and stuff like that. So look in the description for that. All right, so click Java right there for Minecraft Forge there. All right, so this is the installer here, Minecraft Forge installer. Click, make sure your install client is clicked and click OK. All right, I should say that this has successfully installed the client profile Forge for Minecraft. Now remember this build right here that we just installed it. Right now it's 789, however, since we downloaded the recommended build, it could be different depending on when you're installing Minecraft Forge. All right, so just remember that build right there. All right, then click OK. All right, so then after you have that done, we're gonna to wanna to run Minecraft once before we install the 3D items mod. So go ahead and run Minecraft. All right, login stuff there. All right, go to your profile now and choose Forge. So go to profile, choose Forge, and go to edit profile now, and make sure the use version right here is at that build that we just installed. This is, as I said, right now of me making the video, it was dot .789. Again, when you install Minecraft Forge recommended build, it's probably gonna be a different build. Just make sure you click on that build, all right, that you installed. All right, click it, and then click save profile, and then click play. All right, this may take a minute or so to actually load up. Since I've already loaded up this build of Forge on Minecraft, it's gonna load up you know, fairly quickly. For you if, you, if it's your first time loading up this build, you'll have a green bar loading up on the bottom of your launcher here. That's to show you that Minecraft Forge is kind of working to set everything up. All right, then Minecraft should load up and you should get a three mods loaded screen here. You can go to mods and you should have these three things that Minecraft Forge adds. And if your Minecraft crashes or black screens or you get a downloading screen or an error, go into your mods folder and a core mods folder if you have it and delete any mods you have in there. So your mods folder and if you have a core mods folder, delete any mods you may have in there that may be not working with this build of Minecraft Forge. All right, and then after you have done that, run Minecraft again with Minecraft Forge and it should work. All right, so then after you have that done, just quit out of the game. Head on over to your search bar now, type in percent app data percent and hit enter. This takes us to our roaming folder and our roaming folder is our dot Minecraft folder. So go ahead and double click our dot Minecraft folder. Then we wanna go into this mods folder here. So double click the mods folder. All right, and then take the 3D items mod and just drag it into your mods folder. And there you go, that is how you install the 3D items mod. I'm gonna go ahead and start a Minecraft now and show you that this does work. All right, and again, make sure the profile is on Forge and click play. And if, again, your Minecraft crashes or black screens here, go into your mods and core mods folder if you have one and delete any mods in those folders, all right? This takes us on over to Minecraft After the Mojang screen is done here, we're gonna not respond to the page, but after that goes away, there we go. We should get a 
four mods loaded right here and we can go to mods and we have the 3d items right there and I'll go ahead and start up a world here and show you that the items look 3d show you that it has worked so you go just show you that you know the items and stuff they look different just show you that this tutorial does work all right but that's it so hopefully this has helped and if it did just leave a link rating on the video to help it get noticed and if you want to subscribe i'm i don't really send videos to sub boxes on this channel however if you do want to subscribe you're then able to easily find this channel again if you're wanting to install another minecraft mod so you just go into your subscriptions look for revolvers tutorials and then you know click my channel and search through the videos for the tutorial that you're wanting so anyways that's um that's it for me for this video so again hopefully this has helped and thanks for watching